What's up, squad? Welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Flex and Rue. And if you guys are new to the channel, please hit that subscribe and notification bell. As always, today's video, we're going to be talking about how to become a barber, how to get started. I've been getting that question asked a lot in the comments and my DMs. So we're going to go over some topics and my experience and my knowledge, what I'm going to give you guys. So right now, we're at my barber shop. For you guys that don't know, I am a barber shop owner, celebrity barber, barber. And this is where I'm at. This is my barber shop. We're currently closed right now due to this virus. You know, it's sad. Praise out to everybody that's affected you know it's affecting all of us especially business owners and just people that's losing loved ones and however it's affecting you know we're all hurting as a nation but you know uh yeah we're closed down to it and for just a quick rundown i, I opened up my barbershop when i was 21 years old i've been cutting here since i was 17. let's get into the video on just how to become a barber and where to get started and how to get started so my this is this is all my knowledge and my tips and my experience you know i wouldn't be making this video if i didn't know i've been doing this for but this is my ninth year you know i'll be 25 this year so this is my ninth year doing it um and i've just i've been cut celebrities i cut athletes nba players rappers so you know i got a lot of experience a lot of opportunity and i'm gonna show you guys and teach you guys through this channel so you want to become a barber you know my first thing is to go over your game plan okay you want to be a barber okay what i gotta do Write it down in your notes. You know, look at the pros and the cons. Ask questions. And then I will get you a pair of clippers. You know, get a pair of clippers, whatever, you know, what you can afford. If you could afford more, I would go for, uh, you know, a better brand like Andy's or Wall or Oster. There's a bunch of good brands out there, you know, but they're more pricier. But at the same time, if you can't, just go to Walmart and pick a pair of clippers up because we all start from somewhere and we're nowhere to judge nobody. So uh, that's what I did. You know, personally, I was 17 when I started cutting hair, like I said, but I was in high school. I was always getting my hair cut and it influenced me just being in the barbershop because I always hated school. I, I never see myself really just going to college. You know, that's just me. Everybody's different. So I see myself going the entrepreneur route and um, you know, the, the barbershop that I was going to really influenced me, how they was just chilling, how they was having fun, cracking jokes, uh, talking about whatever, uh, dressing how they want, comfortable, whatever, wear the J's, instead of like a regular job where you gotta kinda follow restrictions, follow rules, on how to dress, some people gotta wear a uh, uniform, work certain hours, with the barber you can work your own hours, charge your own prices, work where you want to work you know pretty much you could i could work in southern california i'm in northern california i could pick up and go to southern california find a barbershop and work there that's so that's the beauty of it and also i asked for a pair of clippers for christmas when i was 17 and it happened you know it's a pair of walmart clippers but i was hella happy i was stoked um i was thankful so i made it work you know i just start practicing on myself and just start practicing myself my friends my cousins my family anybody i could cut i would do it for free you know just to get the experience in and that's sometimes what you guys gotta look you gotta put that pride away it's not all about the money but at the same time you're working free but we're not there yet you know our skill set ain't there yet so you know that's how I, really, I just really started cutting on my family members friends and just start practicing and practicing and just getting better and better you know of course when i first started i sucked you know, but that's anybody, you know, I'm not sure how everybody else's journey is, but me, majority of people that I talked to, they was not good. You know, people was giving out bull cuts, putting patches, pushing back hairlines, making the hairlines crooked, and that's normal, you know, so don't get like discouraged if that happens because it's all normal. It happened to me, but that's the beauty of the struggle, you know, where you come from nothing to something. You know, now I'm a business owner doing this YouTube, you know, I consider myself as a YouTuber now and just really giving back this advice and knowledge, you know, because I want to see you guys win. I want to see you guys elevate. And I want to be by your side while you guys elevate, you know, at least where you guys could be like, yeah, I've been watching Flex and Rue's channel and he gave me some really good game and I learned a lot. So that's my whole goal is just to help out others, motivate other people, inspire people in any way, shape or form, you know, whatever is any of my videos. So, you know, I really advise you guys to just get a pair of clippers. Like I said, if you guys can afford a good pair, if not, get a pair from Walmart, you know, even go online on Craigslist or offer up, get you a pair of clippers because we all start from somewhere, like I said, and everybody's journey is different. So uh, just start practicing. If you have no one to cut, just cut yourself. Just keep practicing on yourself and the same techniques as you do as yourself to other people that you start to cut. Then as you start to get better, you know, start to charge um, a price, you know, set you a, a price rate. What I was doing for advertisement, I would, okay, tell one of my clients, okay, if you bring two people, I will cut your hair for free just so I could get the word of mouth, just so I could advertise myself and get more people in my chair. And I love cutting hair, so I just always be cutting, always be cutting in the garage. Then you elevate, this is something I really wanna do. Then I was looking around, okay, as I'm getting older, you know, hitting 18, 
do I want to go to barber college? You know, do I really want to take this thing serious? So that's what I did. I went to barber college and yeah, I was done, man. I was done that year. And it's crazy because the fact is like, I came so far, I sold my Camaro. I had a Camaro at the time too. And I sold it to be able to pay for uh, barber college. You know, shout out to my mom and uh, my stepdad for helping me as well. I really do appreciate them. And um, you know, they believed in me and they supported me. So, uh, so then, as I went to barber college, I already had a barber shop. The, the barber shop that I was going to is where I ended up working at, which was Better Images out here in Sacramento. I worked there for four years. You know, even there when I started there, I wasn't as good as I am now. You know, but that's normal. That's all part of it. You know, I didn't get discouraged because when people walked in, they didn't get cut by me. But that's all part of the game because they wasn't. They they see that I was a new face compared to everybody, so they was kind of like skeptical. Should I go to this guy? Of course, they didn't want to get their hair messed up. But as I just stayed there longer and longer, this I start to build my clientele, especially through the power of social media. Like I said, you can advertise with yourself, and it works great. You know, you're gonna get lots and lots of clients and just walkings as well to be able to be welcoming. You know, you gotta have customer service, talk about certain things to certain clients that they like to talk about, and just build your character around these clients because that's how you keep your clients. And at the same time, do good haircuts you know so i just started to build my clientele and that's how that went how to become a barber just that was my journey and uh you know i know everybody's journey is different but my advice is to you is just to really get a pair of clippers and just start practicing you know learn as much as you can shake some hands shake some barbers hands ask questions like you keep doing you know go on youtube watch these haircut tutorials uh, watch these videos on the basically the route that you want to take so then you know eventually just set goals so open up a barbershop, whatever you want to do, start a YouTube channel. One of my goals was to open up my own. So I just wasn't mentally ready at 20 years old. I was financially ready at 20 years old, but I just wasn't mentally. So I waited a whole another year, just kept asking questions and just watching how the owners operate and even other owners, how they operate, asking questions from different shops. And then the next year at 21, that's when I decided to open my own shop and I did. So, you know, just set you some goals to stay consistent, you know, committed to the grind and you know nothing happens overnight any entrepreneur is going to tell you that nothing happens overnight you know so it takes time you just got to believe in yourself um, believe in the grind keep that faith going and you're going to be good be surrounded by good people you know be a good person yourself and it's going to be a lot smoother how to go to barber school you just go to your local barber school cosmetology school get you a barber license cosmetology license whatever you want to do whatever fits your needs or your standards and do it you know apply for it go to school do your hours do your credit and uh, that's what I'll do personally. So that's what I did. Got it out the way. Now I'm licensed, I'm certified, I'm good to go. So hopefully this video helped you out. You know, I took the time on my day and I just really wanted to answer these questions and I just really want to see you guys win. I want to see you guys elevate. I want to see you guys be able to be what you guys want to be, you know? So that's why I make these videos just to help you guys out. So praise out to everybody during this coronavirus. You know, I know it's tough times, but hopefully you get past it and keep that faith. So please like this video, drop comments below. If you got any more questions on this video, anything that I missed out, please let me know in the comment section. I'll be gladly to answer it below. Please hit that subscribe button as well. Hit that notification for everybody that's new it's your boy flex root until next time y'all peace